Okay. WWE All Stars PlayStation 3 version I'll be reviewing. But I'm essentially reviewing the 360 version as well. So I've unlocked all the trophies on PlayStation 3 and I've unlocked most of the attires and most of everything in the game so I feel like I'm finally in a position where I can give you a definite yes or no about this game. Um, it certainly looks pretty like from the start. Like I really did like the exaggerated style they've gone for, like a comic book. Uh, they've made these guys larger than life, even more than what they did in uh, Legends of WrestleMania, where they just kind of in injected shoulder pads and just made them more muscly. They, they just completely like made them cartoony and. I think it's good because it's it represents more of a fighting game and it just allows you to pick your favourite character and just get get going. So the, the game definitely looks good. Uh even though they're not even though they are exaggerated, the characters look who like who they're supposed to be, apart from the occasional exception like uh Hulk Hogan again has more hair than he ever had in real life. But um yeah, I'm I'm very happy with the way the game looks. Uh could have had could have picked better attires for particular people but that's uh oh who knows we might get more attires at some point um onto the actual gameplay the way the game plays it's a lot better than smackdown versus raw 2011 by miles um if you play tna impact you'll be at home with this game uh if anyone says this game is not like impact they got to be a very good liar uh it was made by the team that THQ bought from Midway so they've essentially just taken the impact engine and taken it in a new direction um, the moves a lot of the moves are the same I mean regular moves you can see have been finishes in the impact game stuff like Sting's Scorpion Death, Scorpion Death Drop is now just a standard reverse DDT uh, Jeff Jarrett's The Stroke is just a Russian, called a Russian leg sweep now. And they've even recycled some of the commentary from Impact and made Jim Ross and The King say the things that Mike Tanay and Don West did, which I found quite surprising. The Soprano comment, um, a couple of other comments, I can't think of them now, but if you if you played Impact, you will recognise some of the sayings. They've just made them say the same sayings, and I thought that was a bit lazy. They could have made them have their own personality and especially because it's like a more legendary type of game they could have made it so that they had more classic phrases to say or something more original rather than just exactly what impact was um, but the gameplay is definitely better than Smackdown vs Raw uh, you have a strong strike, weak strike, strong grapple and weak grapple um, that's probably how I feel a system for a wrestling game should be it's very easy to get through um, the AI in the game can be a bit frustrating uh, they're a lot like the GameCube the early GameCube games that Ukes made um, the AI can be very cheap they will get to points in uh, modes where they just get try and reverse everything and in triple threat matches and fatal four ways there will be points where they just constantly gang up on you even if you go outside the ring, they'll probably look at each other for one moment and then look outside at you. It's just as if they've got something in their minds if they say, the human player must go down. And it's like they, they cannot get that out of their head. They, If you sometimes you can, at, at times, hide behind the turnbuckle, that, that can sometimes make them fight each other. But primarily, you're going to be having some handicap moments in some of the main modes. Um, speaking of the main modes, we'll get onto that now. There's two main major game modes outside of your exhibition uh, Path of Champions and the Fantasy Warfare I'll get into Fantasy Warfare first basically this has 15 the 15 legends in the game against 15 superstars in one-on-one -on -one matches with a particular title um, some of the titles I don't really agree with like Greatest High Flyer between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio I think more appropriate title would probably be Greatest Latino Wrestler because they, you're excluding a lot of high flyers out of that and I think Eddie was a lot more than a high flyer and you could say even Ray was after what he's accomplished since but ultimately it's 
it's them setting up exhibition matches for you and they throw in a little video package to present a fantasy match or in some cases like Eddie and Ray and The Rock and Triple H hardly a fantasy they just throw in old times when they fought each other before because they're not fantasy matches they actually did happen so um yeah it's kind of disappointing I was kind of hoping for some goals to accomplish similar to the legends of Wrestlemania where you had to perform certain things in the match as particular wrestlers that didn't really happen it's just a, an exhibition match and you pick who you want to win and that's how you unlock the wrestlers in the game the certain hidden wrestlers if you win as the legend you unlock the legend if you win as a superstar you unlock them and that's really how it worked it wasn't a whole lot to it and it's kind of disappointing in that because you can pretty much just create your own ones and think of the promo video in your head so there isn't a whole lot to that mode. I think that's just designed as a sell point. Um, right, Path of Champions. This is a hard one to do. Basically, you face a 10 match gauntlet. And depending on the superstar tag team, because there's three different ones. There's The Undertaker, which is the Legends path. Randy Orton is the Superstars path. And DX is the tag team path. And... To get each alternate attire for each character in the game, you have to individually get them to go through in the mode. And for some people like Hogan, Andre, and Savage, you have to go through twice because they have two extra attires. So I was kind of hoping you'd unlock them all at the same time. So um, as good as the little mini cutscenes are, you'll see Paul Beer and people like that. They're not good enough to save it because if you want to get all the trophies as well and achievements. You have to go through these several times as different characters, and they don't change depending on what character you pick, which is a real shame. But overall, the mode is okay. I mean, it does. I just wish they sh they shaped it up a bit more and made different matches depending on who you picked. But it just it just doesn't happen, and it's just a ten match gauntlet. It's just another thing for the single player experience, but it's not fantastic. Um, the online gameplay, very much a mixed bag. Um, getting into an online match on the PS3 has been absolute hell. Inviting friends sometimes just doesn't work. Um, basically, um, it's getting into a match is just complete hell. You just can't, can't always get into the match. Once you actually get into the match, there's no lag and it's fine. The game runs smoothly. Um, it's a, it's a lot of fun, especially four player matches. Um, but yeah, getting into a match sometimes it will come up on the PS3 at least. I don't know if the 360 is okay. Um, it'll say you'll search for a match, and then after a while it'll say unable to find matches. But yet before it returns you to the main menu, you have a like split second where you can see at least ten matches set up. So you know there are matches, but for some reason you just can't get into them. I like to think if this is a major problem we'll get some kind of patch at some point um, but yeah that's the online it's good if you can get into a match but if you can't get into a match you make it very frustrating especially because there are online trophies and achievements and finally replay value there's DLC coming but it's only superstars and I think that's what's going to hurt the game in the long term the superstars aren't massive I'm looking forward to Chris Jericho and the Road Warriors and Honky Tonk Man and the million dollar pack when I can finally redeem it for Christ's sake how long they delayed that um, so yeah that's going to be cool but some other ones like r True from Mark Henry I've got no interest in but I'll end up getting them for the sake of it I mean, that's uh, I'm always open to more characters even if I don't use them but uh, yeah I don't think after you've unlocked everything that this game is going to be able to go back to which is such a shame because it's got a great gameplay engine and I'd really like to see it improved on now. I'm definitely not going to bother with Smackdown vs Raw now until it's cheap because I'm going to stick with this as my main wrestling game of choice overall 8 out of 10 could have been a 9 with more modes in it but it also could have been a 7 the online gameplay just about saves it so 8 out of 10 that's WWE All Stars for the Playstation 3 also for the 360 I'd gather apart from the online I'm not so sure about so that's my review um, I'd definitely recommend a buy but I just maybe you might consider rentering it because you may not have enough in it in the long term. So I'll see you guys there. Peace. Up. Oh.